High-protein diets have been around for a very long time. Uh, certainly, the Adkins diet was a high-protein diet. And it's been a trend in the nutrition world, and it comes and goes. Currently, the carnivore diet is a high-protein diet. But in working out world, gym world, personal trainers will try to convince you that you have to get more protein in your diet. And thus, protein powders have exploded in popularity. After all, just look at Costco or your local health food store. The shelves are lined with tons of them. Why? Because protein is essential. Well, I want to take a minute and tell you where this idea came from. Uh, first of all, let's agree that protein is essential. Protein is essential for muscle building. It's essential to build connective tissue and for wear and repair of cells. How much protein is essential will shock you. So there have been some studies done in multiple institutions. The ones I like best have been done by Professor Christopher Gardner at Stanford, who's a protein expert. And you should know how the recommended daily requirement of protein comes about. They take a bunch of people, a bunch of volunteers, and they put them in a laboratory setting, and they look at what's called nitrogen balance. And they find the estimated average requirement of protein to maintain a neutral nitrogen balance. Nitrogen is what makes protein different than, say, fat or sugar. So when they find the estimated average requirement, 50% of people will do not well with that estimated average daily requirement. They'll need more. But 50% of people will actually need less. This was the average. So the government says, well, we don't want people to miss out on any necessary protein. So we're going to cover our bases. So we're going to actually quadruple the amount of protein that the average person would require so that 98% of people, if we recommend this much protein, will get their daily requirement. So the average daily requirement, the recommended daily requirement, is 40 to 60 grams of protein per day. That's not what most people need. That's two to four times more than what most people need. Another way to think about it is if you actually ate the recommended daily amount, 40 to 60 grams, 98% of us would be eating more protein than we actually needed. Stop and think about that again. If we ate the recommended daily allotment of protein, 98% of us would be eating too much protein. 